Okay, in this particular video we're being asked to work out the angles in a, an isosceles triangle. And what is important to appreciate with the isosceles triangle is that not only are these two sides the same, but also these two base angles are the same. So actually we can use that bit of information in order to at least initially work out the value of x. Because what we're saying is, is that this angle must equal this angle because it's an isosceles. So therefore we can write this as 5x minus 17 equals 2x plus 25. And then really it's a case of solving 4x, finding the value of x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that minus 17. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to add 17 to both sides. Because if I add 17 to both sides, those two disappear. I just get left with 5x equals 2x. And then 25 plus 17 is going to be 42. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 2x and I'm going to move it over towards the left-hand side. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to minus 2x from both sides. If I do that, on this side I end up with 3x. On this side, I end up losing the two x's, and I just get with I just get 42. Okay, and then I'm going to divide through by three. So if I divide through by three again, both sides. So three divided by three is just one x, and 42 divided by three is going to be 14. So actually, I've worked out the value of x already just by recognizing that because it's an isosceles triangle, the two base angles are the same. Okay, so in order to work out the top angle, we need to know the value of y. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, again, because it's isosceles, if I work out the value of each of these angles, the base angles, add them together and take them away from 180, I should be able to find a way of working out the value of y. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out the two base angles. So, okay, so on the left-hand side, I've got 5x minus 17, okay? So if I plug the value of 14 to the, into that, I get five times 14 minus 17, that's going to be 70 minus 17. So therefore, on the left-hand side at least, we know the value is gonna be 53 degrees. That will be 53 degrees. Okay, now because uh, it is isosceles, one would assume that the right hand side is the same, but I'm going to check that just to make absolutely sure. So the right hand side, I'm going to say, well, that's going to be 2x plus 25. Okay, again, take my value of x is going to be 2 times 14 plus 25. 2 times 14 is 28 plus 25. And guess what? that's also 53 degrees, okay? So now I know that I'm definitely on the right track with my value of x. Okay, so if I now add those two angles together and take them away from 180, I'm going to get the value of this top angle, okay? So 180 minus 106 is gonna give me my top angle value is going to be 74 degrees, okay? So, I can now say that 4y plus 3x equals 74 degrees. So 4y plus 3x equals 74 degrees. And then really, it's a matter of taking the value of x that I know and then solving for y. So I've got 4y plus 3 times 14 equals 74, okay? So 3 times 14 is 42, so I've got 4y plus 42 equals 74. Again, I'm just going to do my normal algebra as I work this through. So I'm going to minus 42 from both sides. If I do that, I get 4y, because that and that go. And 74 minus 42 is going to give me 32, okay? And then again, I'm going to divide through by four. I'll just move that up ever slightly. Divide through by four both sides, and I'm going to get y equals 32 divided by 4 is going to be 8. So now I've got my value of y and my value of x. So therefore, I'm going to say x equals 14. 
and y equals 8. And that would be the answer to this particular question. Now, if I wanted to just check that, what I would need to do is just take my value of x and my value of y and plug it into the top uh, angle here. Now, we know the top angle is going to be 74 degrees, so this is going to be 74. So I just want to check by saying, well, in that case, uh, if I write this at the bottom here, my check is that 4y plus 3x equals 74. So 4 times 8 plus 3 times 14 must equal 74. Okay, and if I just expand that out, I got 32 plus 42 equals 74. So therefore, I must be correct that my value of x is 14 and my value of y is 8. Okay, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Have a look at some of the other videos within the, uh, within the channel. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.